This is WENY News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. We have a travel advisory to tell you about today. The city of Elmira will be performing road milling from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. Due to the construction, the bridge from Water Street to Maple Avenue will be closed. A portion of Sly Street between Maple Ave and the south side of the bridge will also be closed during the designated time period. Detours will be in place. A car accident in Horseheads killed two people early Saturday morning. Police responded to the intersection of Watkins Road and Westinghouse Road around 6.45 a.m. after a tractor trailer overturned and hit a pickup truck. 76-year-old Louis Foseca and 73-year-old Randolph Payton, both of Elmira, were killed in the accident. The driver of the tractor trailer, Glenn Thomas Guarino, was taken to Robert Packer Hospital to be treated for minor injuries. No charges have been filed at this time. The accident is under investigation. And one man is recovering after allegedly being stabbed at a Denny's restaurant in Horseheads this past weekend. Police say it happened at about 1.30 a.m. Saturday. 27-year-old Elston Champlouvier from Elmira was taken to Robert Packer Hospital to be treated for a stab wound. He is listed in critical but stable condition. 24-year-old Tony Ray Allison of Elmira was arrested and charged with assault in connection to the incident. Allison was arraigned and sent to Chemung County Jail on $50,000 bail. And Apple is recalling a batch of iPhones over a defect that causes them to take blurry pictures. The problem is with the EyeSight camera on certain iPhone 6 Plus smartphones. The recall affects phones sold between September 2014 and January 2015. Customers can have the cameras replaced for free at Apple stores, authorized service providers, or by contacting technical support. Now here's Craig Flint with today's forecast. Hey Craig. Alrighty Land, good morning to you. Good morning everyone. So we have a cold front that will move through today and the opportunity for some scattered showers midday, early afternoon. So say 11, anytime after 11 o'clock. In advance of the front we get to near 80 and then winds go from the southwest to more of a northwesterly direction. Uh, which will put us in the 70s for highs I think for the rest of the week. So a little taste of fall as we head through the rest of the week here after we get past 80 today. But 80 degrees should uh, come back here as we head into the upcoming uh, weekend, the way it looks right now. So here's a look at first warning satellite Doppler radar. And uh, what we've got going on is uh, a good deal of clear sky this morning, but not too far away. You may just see this little ribbon of uh, clouds and some scattered showers right here. That's your cold front. That will slide its way to the east, and again, that's the front that signifies uh, that change. So once that comes through here, midday, early afternoon, maybe a sprinkle or two associated with it, then the front slides its way to the east and south, and we have an opportunity for a little more clearing. But what's going to happen in the weather pattern overall the rest of the week, low pressure is going to take up residence over uh, southeastern Canada and kind of spiral in some cooler than normal weather as winds go from southwest to the west, uh, a westerly direction as we head into the daytime on Tuesday. So that should put us in the mid 70s for highs. Now watch as we head into midday right here. There's going to be some scattered showers around noontime and you can see it kind of blossom up here real quick and then advance its way to the east. That's the front you can see here at five o'clock. It's east of the region and moving away as we head through the overnight tonight. There may be just enough instability left over for an isolated shower or two. Otherwise, partly cloudy with temperatures in the 50s. Tuesday is a day with variable skies, clouds, some sun, a scattered shower or two, a high near 75. And Wednesday, cooler air, highs in the 70 to 75 range with a few passing inconsequential scattered showers. It's not going to rain all the time every hour all day, but uh, we have the opportunity for one or two scattered showers to move through and then cooler weather yet on Thursday. As a matter of fact, Thursday, I don't think we'll get out of the some of us won't get out of the 60s on Thursday. So here we go with today again, midday into the afternoon, that opportunity for a passing haphazard hit or miss type scattered shower and a high near 80 in advance of the front. Once the front goes by, it turns cooler on Tuesday. Shower or two, 75. Cooler air Wednesday with a scattered shower, 70 to 75. Look at Thursday, barely breaking 70. 
Okay, again, a few of you will stay in the 60s, I think, on Thursday. Looks good Friday, and then as we head into the weekend, it does turn milder. I think near 80 Saturday. Then a few storms maybe pass through here on Sunday and a high of 82. Leanne? Thanks, Craig. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5 30, 6, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Have a great day.